Hello, this is Chris Menard. I have great news. Microsoft Excel has come out with a new feature that's a game changer. It is called Insights for Excel. And I'm going to run you through it in this video. And if you notice, in my data here, I have a total of header row is row 1. I have 576 records. I clicked on Insert tab at the top. And this Saturday, March 3rd, I noticed that I had a new feature called Insights. I've actually been waiting for this since December when I read about it on a Microsoft blog post. So it just came out. It sits between add-ins and charts groups. When I clicked on Insights, it opens up a task pane over on the right-hand side of my screen. It found 51 results. What's really nice is, so with two clicks, Insert Insights, I know that I have outliers. I know my invoice amount, which is column G in my data. Column G is the only numeric field that I have. Everything else is text, except column D is dates, which are technically numbers. So it found out that my invoice amount is decreasing over the year. And so it pulled 51 possible charts that I could use with just two clicks. It also... I'm going to show you this in a second. Invoice amount by customer. If you look over in column A are my customers. I'm not going to click this right now, but I know, I know it says insert chart, but it'll actually create a pivot table, format the pivot table, and then create a pivot chart automatically with one click. Now, I'm going to run you through this video because when I got this Saturday, I ended up playing with it for several hours found a couple things that don't work and I'll show you how to fix those. So let me start off, first of all, let me start off telling you whether you have insights or not and whether you're going to get it. If you go to file in Excel and go down to account, you have to have Excel 2016 for Windows and you have to have an Office 365 subscription. So there's my subscription product, Office 365. There is the version and the build that I'm currently running. And sometimes your version and build, it used to show up right here under update options. But they moved it recently to about Excel. So if you don't have it and you have a subscription and you're like, why don't I have it? it they just haven't rolled it out to you yet. You will get it though. So here we go. Here was my first test when I saw this. I typed in six months of data, put in four states. I went to insert, insights, and clicked. You have to have an internet connection. If you don't have an internet connection, it can't go and pull the insights. It found a total of nine results down here in the bottom. So if you notice, it's charting all four states here. This one's charting just the month of January, but you can keep scrolling down. That's a pretty cool chart. You can click on show all to see all results. That chart's pretty cool. What it's doing is there's all four states. Uh, that is the month of January in this column, February, March. And then if you go down below, there's another column chart that looks similar. If you notice, horizontally, all these equal because they're showing you January at 100%, the next month at 100%. So that's a percentage chart compared to this one being the values. So let's do test number two. So this time I did 12 months running down column A instead of the months running across. And then I put in revenue, expenses, so the only formula that I have here is profit, and you can see my formula. In this task pane that appears when you want to do insights again, it's not a big deal, but this is the insights for this worksheet down in the bottom left. So when I click on months-profit, I have to go to insert insights again. Basically, it's got to go and refresh and pull this data. If you notice, I didn't even select my data. Excel Insights just did it. 
Okay, so it's charting revenue expenses by month. And this is cool. It must have realized, because those first two numbers, the 95 and 86, are so much larger than the number 9, it did the next chart, profit by month. That's pretty cool. So you can see there's expenses by month. I can hit show all and see all eight results this time. Now, when I did test number three, because those first two tests, there's test one, there's test two, and it worked. So I kept thinking, you know, that's not a lot of data. So I went to this worksheet and it has 576 records and it's well organized. It's got customer brand rep. So I went to insert insights and watch what happens. I believe I'm going to get an error message. Well, it's not an error message. It says couldn't find any insights. So I got a little, uh, little aggravated and I realized we couldn't find any significant pattern. Well, there's plenty of patterns in here. Try using a larger data set. Well, just a second ago, I only had four records. Now I have 576, so I don't need a larger data set. What that means is you need to break this data out some more. So because I'm so excited about this, because if you do data analysis, this is going to be the way to go. On today is the 5th of March. On the 15th, that should be a Thursday, at 10 a.m., so March 5th, 2018, 10, I'm going to do a webinar. It's going to be a 15, 20-minute webinar because it's not going to take a long time on how to use insights, how to fix data when you get this message right here. So what I ended up with is I had to do a little tweaking, and you need to, you need to know what formulas to use so insights will load. So that's what I'm going to cover in the webinar. I don't have enough time to do it here. I appreciate your time. Go check out Insights. Uh, feel free to go to my blog page where I wrote about this today. There is the URL. I've got a lot of information, not only this video. That's also where you can sign up for the webinar. So thank you for your time.